Intentional? Not
has fallen. No. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Bottom barracks are under attack. Radiant's bottom barracks. This changes nothing.
Bottom lane, Ashes died, and now that the Shadow Fiend is out of the way, no more raises can come out. Guess what? With the Jingu, with AT, just having that arm reduction going on for him, Guo Guo is gonna be in a lot of trouble. That is gonna make for excellent power threat timing, and I think it is gonna be the early Agonims, right? This is a game for Bench Axe, if I've ever seen one. There's an Echo available. Now Young Pieter blocks him off completely. A nice stun from the Lash Rack to follow it up. Lina will get the Light Strike array, but... Okay, it's gonna be enough for Dockgrass together with the Laguna Blade. That was like Ember Spirit coming online and having excellent item timing. Could make things so much harder for Gorilla on top lane. Er, Ember is gonna be in a bunch of trouble. And... will die. Yeah, Lash Rack Ultimate plus Filter. Hello Fiend on bottom died as well. F Prophet getting scarier by the minute. Now on mid lane, Monkey King. Looking to set up on Ashes. And Ashes is just gonna get dropped to the Laguna Blade. Monkey King with the trickery, de aggroing the tower means Young PH is gonna die, but he was probably dead anyways. Before Yang on Galacticos get a chance to equalize things out, in comes the Earthshaker. They are trying to defend a skill A. It's just gonna get vision onto the Lash Rack though. And yeah, if you don't expect that, that you are gonna get punished or not PP. With beautiful stun, manages to kill off skill A as Ember Spirit wasn't in range for a stay of fist. A single stay of fist would have done it, but that was kind of unfortunate. Down goes the undying. <laughs> and with a two man stun, followed by another two man stun, double kill now for PP. Exorcism, dishing out the damage left and right too. Ember Spirit tried to get a bit of harass damage out. Will do so now that he connects the chains, but has to run for his life as Death Prophet silences him up. Spirit Siphon and Crypt Storm is gonna do the trick. Double kill for T from Gorilla. And this time around they find a beautiful wrap round into two man stun lock. And Ember Spirit may be able to get himself out of there. And it is mostly off the back of that Lina. Guo Guo getting struck down by Monkey King. Plus the Lina I just mentioned. 
There's a tombstone up on that hill. Which I don't think they feel like contesting. I mean that would have been another fat golden feud for young PH, but young PH he got boots of travel on the mid lane. PP got dropped. There is the Echo Slam coming out in retaliation, but Ember Spirit will remnant himself out of safety. Now Death Prophet fighting 1v3, 1v3 may not be the odds he wants, and is gonna go down. Dodie and Pain for now having joined the prey. And in comes the death from, from behind. Lina though right clicking down Guo Guo. As the silencer is getting ran down. And the spirit trying to help him out. Silencer decides to just throw out the ultimate. And that means Earthshaker is gonna die. Bench looking for more. Can she connect with something? Ooh, that was close. Swap was almost ready. KSH, Remnants forward, nice two-man searing chain, but there is the Requiem of Souls, death. Now Venge throwing out the swap, that means together with Monkey Ultimate, Death Prophet is just gonna drop Gilday. Now this is some high impact gameplay, and he is still a support, mind you, he's been sharing farm with Revenge all game. Down goes the Shadow Fiend, and Lashrak, he ran himself in there trying to get revenge, but instead just goes down for 30 seconds. Both coming in at a reason, reasonably good rate. He has a Mask of Madness to help him farm up, and now Monkey King caught with the Tombstone. Once again, there is four people there, and he is just gonna get taken off the map. That, if they could find the Shadow Fiend, it would be huge. Monkey King is gonna scout him out, it's just gonna jump in. In comes the Wukong's command, and SF may be tanky. Does have a second life going on, but Undying doesn't, and he will be a nice dude for his target. KSH procs with BKB as Lashrak runs at him with the ultimate and the Diabolic Edict. KSH still dropping kinda low, but guess what? Shadow Fiend gets swapped out. In comes the Global Silence. First life gone on the Shadow Fiend. TNT procs the BKB to get rid of the Silence on him. And Young PH as well as AT are gonna die. AT has that Aghanims just completed. That didn't work out the way I and Django Galacticos thought it would. Deep smoke at that, but they will connect on the Undying. Undying trying to force that himself up the high ground. Is going to be able to drop a good tombstone, and everyone from Yangon are just going to back off. On bottom lane, instead, Young P8, he almost got dropped. He managed to get out the Laguna. He managed to not quite get away, but in exchange for the electric, I don't think he mind. Lina trading her life away for two, three hero curse at the cost of Silence's life. They are not quite able to bring in reinforcements. Instead, that. They are gonna lose another one here for the side of Gengar Galacticos. Vengeful Spirit not able to get herself out on that second life. But what can you really do? Oh, Young PH. That is one brave initiation, but even with BKB, critting for so hard means you are gonna force this death from to back off. Death from still alive though, and now PP runs in with BKB, trying to kill off Young PH. Young PH will secure the killing TNT before dying himself. An excellent Wukong's command, once again doing a lot of work on PP Slashback, but the real Wukong may die for that and he will. 2 for 2 so far, swap out on the Shadow Fiend, but it's mostly in its in attempt to escape long enough for Emsbird to come on in. Earthshaker is gonna be the next target and he is gonna go down. Ashes staying at the outlines of that team fight. Last one left who's there pretty much. Lash Orb on the Undying getting revealed there. Means Gorilla, they want to fight. They will start the fight by killing off the Monkey King. It is a Monkey King support, but it is a Monkey King support who has been a thorn in the side of Gorilla so far. Taking away that Wukong's is pretty good. EP, he procced the BKB. Silencer. Taking down. And Ashes initiated on with the tombstone. It is gonna keep the rest of Yangon back for a while. Nice Wukong, strong skill lay, skill lay still alive. And those monkeys have done their job, but everybody else in the back lines is dropping Vengeful down to the second life. Lina has died, taking a lot of the damage away from Yangon Galactico's side. Lashrak, he is gonna drop low and is gonna get killed off by the Ember Spirit as Silence walks himself out of there. And dies for it. Ember Spirit, the only one left. Ooh, 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 though. Or 
Ridge. Halloween still stuns up. And in from behind comes the Urshaker with nice two man stuns. Exorcism as well, chipping through the atmosphere despite PKB. And only Guru dropped so far from the side of Gorilla, who just clean up, getting the Monkey King follow up. Anymore. But does he really need one when he's this freaking fat, almost unkillable, and has Shiva to slow people up? Young PH goes on down, and with that, this is gonna be a buyback for us out at the least. AT trying to help out with his elude as he is now down to the second life. And yeah, that's gonna be the second lane of Rex dropping easily to the side of Gorilla. However, Dockress has to be careful on the mid lane. He is gonna get ran at with the Ember Spirit Remnant and the Searing Chains connecting. They are gonna lock him in place and they are gonna finish off Dockress. Okay, out as Exorcism comes out from the Death Drop. Death Drop blinks forward, slows everyone, silences the. Venge, Venge is just gonna drop to the Exorcism damage. Now Venge comes back with that illusion, but that illusion is gonna drop just as quickly. They are made perfectly, and what looked like Yangon were already de initiated, instead becomes a perfect follow up. And a pretty good cleanup drop from the looks of it. A skill lay is now in a lot of trouble and is gonna get killed off by three heroes. Ashes and TNT coming in looking for more. They will reveal the hex on the Lina. Lina is just gonna go down. That is a hundred second no young PH. And with that, I think Gorilla are gonna be able to get themselves to them if they still wanna stay in the upper bracket. Cause they are now gonna have a lead that no other team can take from the throughout this group stage. Putting themselves firmly at spot number one. Shadow Fiend is gonna die. That is a hundred second death on him. He doesn't buy back. And you don't really want to use it here when PP is fighting up in front of the enemy base. Nice done though, getting reflected by that load. So PP, he's trying to teleport out, gets gold bashed, making for a double kill for KSH. Two for Alina, the tier 3 tower holds though. And Earthshaker, there's not really anything he can do to finish off that illusion from the Venture Spirit. Health regen too strong. They are gonna find the real vengeful, and in comes a huge Shadow Fiend ultimate, which will kill off the Silencer, kill off the Lina as a follow up, and now Skill Lace Monkey King goes down as well. These heroes simply too beefy. Roche can be back up in 40 seconds, and while they are waiting for it to respawn with the Exorcism at the ready, perhaps even close out the game. Last track, he is gonna make short work of the last tier 3 tower standing for the dire side. It's gonna follow that up with a range drag to go and young PH. He die backs. Two minutes no Lina. I think he's gonna just make GD. Tombstone comes from down. Ember Spirit still trying to be a pain. KSH is dishing out so much damage to Ashes, but does he have the damage to seal the deal? It doesn't look like it, and everybody is simply too tanky. And GG gets caught as they realize, yeah. Our carries simply don't have the damage. They do just give the GG at the end.